In Rocket League, there's 91 cars, and today I'll be playing and freestyling with almost all of them. Not even kidding, this video is me playing with every single car so you don't have to. The cars on the screen right now are the ones that I play with but are so awful, no one should play with them. But in the end, I got these cars that made it into the video to find out which car is the best. The only ones I'll be excluding are DLC based cars, the video would simply be too long. So let me know if I should make a DLC version of this video. Either way, if you end up enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe, it's completely free. I'm only mentioning it because, hey, we all forget sometimes. But now let's start testing out and freestyling with these cars. For the first car, I think there's no better choice than the Octane. It's one of the most used cars, if not the most used car in Rocket League. So let's, <laughs> let's test it out, even though I've played it for like thousands of hours. My man says to a Musty flick. Oh no, Musty's invaded everyone. Right, I'm gonna do some weird spin stuff here. Okay. But the first. Oh no, we did get the second. Oh my god. Right, how about a multi flip reset thing? Okay. I mean, we got a triple reset. Honestly, it's not the best, but I'm really just vibing with the car. Honestly, if you're playing Rocket League, you should definitely use the Octane. It's by far the best car in the game. But we're not here for the good cars, we're here for the weird cars. So let's go to the first car in the list, and that is the Backfire. Oh my goodness. That is one mean looking car. Honestly, so far I would not recommend this car. I mean, it just feels so chunky. <laughs> I don't think it's the good kind of chunk. Alright, for this car, I think I'd pick like a four or five. I don't think you should ever use this car, it's just not good, ever. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess it is for pinches, if you want to try that out. That's definitely the worst car so far, but the next one is, you know, it used to be a good car back in like 2016, but nobody likes this car anymore. See, I don't know what people's opinion about this car is, because it's so, like, old. Nobody, nobody that I know actually likes this car, but hey, maybe you do. Okay, a little bounce. Oh, what? dude, this guy is insane in defense. That's actually gonna be a nice goal. I'm pretty sure the only time that I like playing with the breakout is when I was watching Drun Sandman. So <laughs> I think you can, I think you'd tell how bad I was back then. Oh, well. I think with that own goal, we're done with this car. Honestly, I dreaded about like a six or seven. Definitely not the best car, or even close to the best car, but. It's alright, it's it's fun to mess around with. I feel like I already spent ages doing this, but we're just only on the fourth car. And this time, it's the Gizmo. The Gizmo has definitely been mocked in the Rocket League community because... Well, it looks pretty terrible. Dude, <laughs> look at those flaps. Those little wings. Is that... Is that guy really using a musty car? He's using a musty... Okay, we should ban him from this game. <laughs> Guys, you should use my car, not the musty car. I, I'm honestly not liking this car one bit so far. I can't control my car. It's like it wants to do its own thing, but it's too dumb to do its own thing. Alright, it's giving a bit more space, so I'm gonna go for something a bit more freestyling. Okay. Okay, I mean, not bad. No, I, I think that's the best we can go. I, I think that that's the best goal we can get with this dumb car. <laughs> I, th I think we're done with this car, honestly. I do not want to play with it anymore. The Gizmo, you're getting a big ol' one. Uh, you're just, you're awful. Don't ever use this car. It, unless you're trolling, you will not like it. Let's move on to the next one and oh boy, this one is the hot shot. The car everyone used back in like 2015. I don't think Fire would be proud of that one, to be honest. Just <laughs> look at that. It's, it's just, this is terrible. I mean, a little better, but maybe this car just isn't for pictures. Man, it looks so weird. Like, the car itself looks so interesting. It just... <laughs> but it's still a terrible car. Okay, come on. Come on. Good pinch. Good pinch. Oh, okay. We got a good one. We, we, we got an okay one. Okay. I mean, it's, maybe it's not that bad with pinches after all. I mean, I'm having fun with it, so maybe you should, maybe you should try it. But now it comes to the real test. Can it do some more complicated stuff? 
Uh, okay, I guess it can. Hello, may hey, maybe this car is actually the best. Maybe they found the best car back in 2015. For this car, I'd give it a respectable 6. It's not something I'll use like ever again, but I think you could have a lot of fun messing around with this car. So, hey, go for it. But we have so many more cars to go. And this time it's a bit of a classic. It's the Merc. And this car, so many people have used this car in the past and it used to be a main car for 1v1 games. Like people would always use this car and absolutely destroy people in 50-50s. But hey, can it live up to the freestyle standards? Let's test it out. My guess is no. <laughs> My guess is definitely no because literally no freestyler in the world I think he has ever played with a with a Merc, except for Pinches. But because Pulsefire scored one of his best Pinches with a Merc, I think I'm gonna try and test it and see if it lives up to his standards with the uh, Pinches. Alright, at this point I'll honestly take it that I'm just a bad ground Pincher, because uh, I'm not having any luck so far. But maybe this is one? Nope, okay, yeah, we'll just give up. Honestly, I'm not a massive fan of the Merc, like, I thought I'd have a lot more fun with it, but Honestly, it turned out to be pretty awful. I'd say this car is like a 4. It's just... I know people will be upset at that rating, but it's just a bad car. Like, you, you can try it out for yourself, but I don't like this car. Next up on the list is a classic Paladin. This car, as some others, were used quite often in 2015 at the start of the game. People just gravitated towards it because, let's be real, it looks pretty cool. Oh my goodness, it feels so, so, so tiny. Like, is this just me or does this car look absurdly tiny? Okay, I mean, I, 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 I guess I already like it a bit more than the Merc, but it's just such, it's got such a weird feeling to it. I don't think, I don't think I can explain it at all. Like, I, I think you, you have to try it out for yourself. Alright, maybe it's time to go for the ground pinch test. See if this tiny car can do a ground pinch. Whoa, okay! Oh, yeah, mm. That was a lot of power. That was my first attempt. Oh my god. Maybe this is the car for ground pinches. I don't know why, but I actually like this car. Oh no. I feel guilty. I feel embarrassed by liking this car. People will put me in Rocket League jail for like this car. I mean, it's just so good feeling. Like, it's got such a good feeling behind it. I don't know how to explain it. All right, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> this car is so weird. I don't know how to feel about it. If you're watching this, definitely try out this car. Oh my god. Honestly, I'm leaving this car wanting to play more with it. That's so weird. I, I'm gonna have to give it probably a very controversial rating of an 8. That is... You need to look into this car more. I challenge any freestyler to play with this car and try to hit a cool goal. Because you might be able to do something insane with this. It's the Ripper. I don't know why, but every single freestyler on planet Earth loves this car for some reason. And honestly, I don't know why. I I, I genuinely don't know why. It, it, it's hideous. Like, oh, I, I can tell eight-year-olds would like this car. That, that's the only that's the only thing I, I can tell with this car is eight-year-olds would love this. So if you're like eight, yeah, you'd probably love this car. All right, my game was laggy, but I'm back. And uh, let's let's truly give this car the benefit of the doubt and let's try and hit some cool goals with it. Not even a flip reset. Uh, totally not blaming the car here. That, that this is my fault. Uh, no flip again. Uh, what is going on? Is this is this, this me? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this is me playing. Hello. Okay. This car is apparently impossible to get a flip reset on. Maybe it's good with a ceiling shot musty flick. Don't feel good with this car. I don't know what's what what it is. I just I don't get it. I want to like this car. I want to be a part of the freestyle game, but I don't get it. Okay. No, no flipper set. Okay. If I got a flipper set there, that could have been something cool. 
Honestly, I'll have to leave with this car pretty disappointed. It's it's a five for me. It's pretty neutral. It's okay, I guess, but I, I don't generally see the massive appeal from freestylers in this car. I, I really don't. This is regarded as the smallest car in Rocket League, and for good reason. Every time I would play with this car, I would feel like I had no power behind any of my hits. Like, look how adorable this car is. It's so tiny. I can't actually discriminate against this tiny car. Oh, okay. This car does have some feistiness into it. This car actually has some power behind it. Like, th th these are some okay pinches. Man, we'll get like a 180 pinch with a Takumi. What? 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 No way! Are you kidding me? That's not 95, it's just because it bounced. Look at that! What? Hello, Takumi! I didn't know you had this power behind you. I, I think I'm done with this car though. I I'm so conflicted. I think this car might be like a 7 or, or an, even an 8. Seven and a half. I'll give it a seven and a half out of ten. Surprisingly, I thought this would get like a four, but nope, it did very well. The only one that I have is purple, so it'll look a bit weird, but I actually remember liking this car when it came out, so I don't know how I feel about this now, but let's actually give it a test. Okay, good control. Like, for some reason, I just feel better in this car, like instantly. I have so much control over this car that I don't feel with the other race cars, and I don't know why. He's getting outplayed by the gesture. What does that mean? It means absolutely nothing. I don't know where I'm going with this. Oh my goodness, like see how con like controlling that looks? This car is a bit of a mystery. I don't think I've seen anyone online play with this car, and I don't know why. Probably because there is just way too many cars in Rocky League. But that might not be it. Yeah, see, like, it just feels so much cleaner going for one flick reset and then a musty flick. Clearly, this car is made for that kind of play. Some, like, musty flick type play. So, if I go for this and go for another reset, it just doesn't feel right. The flip resets don't feel right, but any other hit does feel right. This car is average at best in the end, it's only about a six, in my opinion. Um, use this if you feel like you want to do some flip reset musty flicks. If you're practicing that, this is the card to go for. It is the Fennec. It is such a prodigy in the Rocket League scene. If you don't know, I think sometime in 2019, this car came out and quickly it became one of the most popular cars to use and in professional play might be the most popular car. A lot of people picked the Fennec over something like the Octane. But in the end, we need to find out if it can do some freestyle stuff. So let's do that. Despite this car being extremely popular in pro play, it was never really a great car in the freestyle scene. And I don't know why. I don't know if people have really tried it in the freestyle scene. I, I think some have and some have liked it, but I don't see it being very different from a car like the Arctic. It's okay, Pinch. It's not the best, but I expect nothing more from an Octane hitbox. Oh, the musty flick is powerful. See if the cook's pinch works? Ah, okay, I mean, it's pretty powerful. It's pretty much like an Octane, but the second version of it, freestyle-wise, is probably not the best car, or even close to the best car. But overall in Rocket League, this car is not so bad. It, it really isn't. I don't think I need to play with it much longer to give it a rip. I think I'd give this car and the Octane a 10, Without a doubt, these cars are the best cars in Rocket League. But now we come to a race type car that actually works good. I actually like this car quite a lot. But will I like it now? Let's find out. Now the big difference between these racing cars is that some of them feel absolutely clunky for no reason. But this one is actually a unanimously good car. Like A lot of people in the scene agree that this car is actually pretty good. And one of the most notable players that have used this car for a long time is Jazer. He actually liked this car quite a lot, and he even sometimes uses it to this day. And I can tell why. To be honest, it feels super smooth. 
You have to be very cautious about what car you use in Rocket League because some of them might be hindering you from playing better. Hopefully this video is at least a bit informational and helps you decide which car to use, especially if you're newer in the game. Avoid the racing cars that I've mentioned because they are awful, they're clunky, they're not good. But the ones I've actually said that are good are definitely outliers, but they're good ones. Like, they are very good cars. I think I'd definitely play this car more so in threes. I don't think it's a freestyle car, I don't think it's a 1v1 car. If you like the flatter type cars, I definitely recommend the Samurai. But hey, you might be one of those people that say, hey, well I'm not a freestyler, maybe I just want to do some flicks. Well, you wouldn't be wrong, because these types of flat cars are very easy to pull off flicks with. But hey, if you like playing threes or twos, this might be a smooth car if you like flat cars. You just need to avoid the bad racing type cars. I will give this car a solid 6.5 out of 10. It's, it's okay. It's not insanely good. It's not insanely bad. It's just, it's fine. It works fine. But now we got to the end and it's the Holy Grail of freestyling. Arguably the best freestyle car in Rocket League, the Dominus. This car has got so much history behind it and so many amazing freestylers have played with this car for a long time and even in professional levels this car is wildly popular. I think it's sitting at second behind Octane but this car, it is very iconic. And for good reason, it's very good. Dominus is pretty much the main rival of the Octane and it's probably the most used freestyle car and the Octane is probably a close second. Okay, um, interesting pinch. So I think the Dominus is one of those cars that will never die out because it's so iconic and so wildly popular. Okay, decent pinch. Honestly, I like the Dominus for its pinches. I'm definitely a fan of the pinches, uh, as you can probably tell. It's just so smooth. Even though I don't play with the Dominus often, I just feel so much in control of the car and it feels super smooth i can do pretty much anything that i want with it it is a good substitute for the octane in my opinion and probably the best flat car in rocket league i think the only other flat type car that could really compete with the dominus is the batmobile which is a dlc car so hey if you like this video maybe our part two will come and batmobile and all the other dlc cars will be included but hey osm can it ceiling shot musty thick well, yep, yeah, it can. And pretty easy as well, even even though that setup was awful, that was pretty simple. Like, the Musty Flicks are just so clean. But that's the end of it. Honestly, the Dominus, it is a legendary car. At the end of looking at all these 45 cars, which took so long, I can confidently say that the top three are easily the Octane, Dominus, and Fennec. It is without a shadow of a doubt, those are the top three cars in Rocket League. In the end, I found Octane, Dominus and Fennec to be the best cars in Rocket League. With Octane and Dominus being best for freestyling. But hey, three cars surprised me a lot. The Hotshot, Paladin and Takumi were weirdly fun to play with. Either way, let me know what you thought of the video down below. Subscribe, we're super close to 200,000 so thank you so much for the support guys. But with that said, I'll see you next time. Peace.